Your coffee's cold. I'll get you some more. No, 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 thanks. What is it, Jerry? All right. Well, it's... It's Brett. There was someone here to see me the day after he arrived. A Secret Service agent. He accused Brett of being involved in a counterfeit ring. Brett? Oh, no, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> I might as well believe it of myself. He didn't have any proof, but he... He asked me to help him. I did. I didn't find a thing. Not a single word, a deed, a scrap of paper that would make me doubt he was any different than he's always been. And yet I think I doubted him in spite of myself. I know. When somebody puts something like that into your mind, it, it's hard to root it out. It, uh, it just stays there. That's exactly how it's been. You know, when he first got here, I'd have done anything in the world to help him. And then after that man spoke to me, I got less and less sure of him and myself. And now? Do you trust him now? I don't know. I didn't at dinner. I think it showed. I think that's why he left so suddenly. Well, I'm sure you'll find the answer in the morning. Good night, darling. Good night, mother. Seven left. Nine right. Repeat the last two numbers. Nine right, three left.
seven right. Good morning. Good morning, Brett. If you want breakfast, you better grab a chair. Thank you. I've got something to say. Before you do, Brett, there's something I'd like to say. That offer of mine to take you into the office, it's withdrawn. Instead, I'm offering you a full partnership. Now, not that you're going to be any bargain for the first year, but knowing what you're capable of, I'd be wrong to offer you anything less. I want you in with me, Brett, on equal terms. The sooner the better. Brett, it's not like Jared has given something away. He spent an awful long time looking for just the right man. It's wonderful to fulfill something I know you both have always wanted. Well, now that that's settled, what was it you wanted to say? I hate to say this now. I'm leaving for Denver on the noon train. I'm sorry, it's... Just something I have to do. And I uh, have a business meeting at the hotel in town, so I'll have breakfast there. I'm all packed, so uh, I know it's very sudden. Will you be coming back, Brett? I don't know. You'll uh, be needing a buggy. If you do, my offer still stands. Goodbye, man. Goodbye, Brett. I'm sorry, Jared. So am I, Brett. But it's your decision to make. I found this on the table in Mrs. Scholar's room. I guess he forgot it. Thanks, Alice. 